How do we measure our region's progress? In new businesses? Better infrastructure? More restaurants? What if those things don't tell the whole story? Our region has some of the greatest wealth and influence in the country. But in the middle of that, hunger is living right nearby. It's robbing over 1.2 million people of their potential. That's a big problem all on its own. But it also makes other big problems even worse. Like the fact that some parts of our region have an unemployment rate five times the national average and an infant mortality rate on par with some developing countries. If you're a 10-year-old growing up in some of the lowest income neighborhoods in our area, your life expectancy could be 30 years lower than another child living just 10 miles away. Not exactly what we'd call progress, right? But what if something better is possible? What if that 10-year-old was getting the good food she needed right from the beginning, allowing her to stay healthy, concentrate, and achieve in school? What if her parents had the energy they needed so they could support her as she grew? What if food was combined with other services, like education, healthcare, and job training, that helped put her on a path to a longer life expectancy and a lifetime of success? It turns out something better is possible, and together we have the power to make it happen. For over four decades, the Capital Area Food Bank has been at the center of our community's response to hunger, providing food to more than 450 nonprofit organizations. And today, we're also working with new kinds of partners in health, employment, education, and beyond sharing food with services that address hunger's root causes. With your help, we'll provide the meals that create paths for thousands of brighter, healthier futures. It's time to expand how we measure progress. <laughs> and now, for her, for him, and for all of us, it's time to make it. <laughs>